This is Madrid where police fired rubber-coated bullets to disperse protesters. Angry at the latest budget cuts and tax hikes. Demonstrators were in fact held in 80 cities across the country. Paul Brennan though has more from the capital. Pensioners, police, teachers, government staff, firefighters, bus drivers, union members and those with no union affiliation at all. Tens of thousands of people for whom protest has become a necessity rather than a mere expression of dissent. Less than a month ago, the anti-austerity protest movement appeared exhausted and demoralized. But in the last week, it seems re-energized, revitalized. And just look at the response, perhaps the biggest protest yet in the streets of Madrid. Pilar Hill is not a natural demonstrator. Now 58, she was looking forward to retiring after nearly 30 years in the public sector. But the cuts have hit her hard. Why am I so upset? I'm upset because the cutbacks aren't taking us anywhere. In my wages, we were talking about a loss of 200 euros every month. And because I'm not a highly paid executive, I really feel it. It is the public sector workers who are being hit hardest by Spain's austerity program. Job losses, pay cuts and cancelled bonuses have produced bitter resentment. Earlier on Thursday, in a show of coordinated resistance, government workers logged off their computers at 12 noon and walked out. Even management threats don't deter them anymore. Yesterday told us uh, he's, he's going not to pay us our salary next month if we continue protests. And what do you say to them? Continue. Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy has been unmoved by the public protest as he pursues a programme to cut the public deficit by $80 billion in two years. Spain's economy is in serious trouble. Nearly one in four Spaniards are unemployed. 8.95% of Spanish bank loans are now looking doubtful for repayment. And the cost of servicing Spain's public debt is rising. Bond yields up again on Thursday. But such abstract concepts hold little water with the people on the streets. They are struggling with reduced wages, higher taxes and seriously diminished prospects. People here are starting to talk about Spain becoming ungovernable. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Madrid.